With its headquarters in Nigeria and subsidiaries in four other African states in the UK, Zenith Bank PLC is a leader in African financial services. Joining me now is CEO Godwin Amofili. Godwin, Zenith is said to be the most respected bank in Nigeria. Why is this? Zenith is the most respected bank in Nigeria uh, because it's one of the biggest banks today in Africa. Um, it's the biggest in, in, in West Africa in terms of shareholders' funds. Indeed, ranks among the top six, top seven banks in Africa today. Zenith Bank was the most profitable bank in Nigeria in 2012 uh, with profitability of um, over, over $600 million, $600 million. In terms of market capitalization, it's one of the biggest companies listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange today. Well, you also have a very strong corporate social responsibility profile. Why is this important? Because we believe that we should give to any environment that has given us, afforded us an opportunity to conduct banking services in that community. And what we do from time to time is to ensure that we look at the community, we determine what are some of the needs of those communities, and based on the needs that we determine that the community desires, we go ahead and then provide some of those needs for them. Well, how is the banking industry in Nigeria developing? The Nigerian banking industry is coming of age. If you consider um, the fact that um, we have strengthened corporate governance in Nigeria, risk management practices have become even very strong, strong, uh, become very strong. Um, I mean, before the financial crisis, you will find that if you rank a Nigerian bank, you probably may think that they are not well capitalized and all that. But with the financial crisis, we found out that Nigerian banks, indeed uh, some of the African banks, um, are, are some of the most or best regulated uh, institutions in, in the world today. Uh, because if you consider the fact that banks are expected to keep minimum of 30% of their liquid assets in, I mean, their, of their assets in liquid assets, or 12%, for instance, in Nigeria in, in, in cash reserve ratios, or that Nigerian banks also have to maintain minimum of about 15% in capital adequacy ratios, then you will say that the bank, Nigerian bank industry has indeed come of age. Due to the increased levy paid to the Assets Management Company of Nigeria and the poor state of infrastructure in the country, Nigerian banks have the highest cost base amongst their peers. So how are you addressing this? The level of infrastructural development is below average right now. For instance, you find that banks um, have to provide uh, power for themselves. Uh, banks have to run around um, collecting cash from their customers um, to, to ensure that customers are properly served. But of course, the, the level of um, infrastructure development is improving now with government uh, divesting from power and then allowing private sector institutions to come in. We are expecting that um, power will improve and um, the, level of, um, the, the, the level of power generation will improve and um, Nigerian banks can begin to focus on their banking business rather than even focusing on power. And with that, cost will suddenly come down. Also, in, in the Nigerian banking industry today, the, the Central Bank of Nigeria recently put in place the cashless policy where we're trying to say that let's reduce the level of uh, cash in the economy, let's improve on the use of electronic channels in conducting banking businesses in Nigeria. These will certainly help to reduce the cost of, cost of doing business in Nigeria. The second part of this year has been quite challenging with the revised bank tariffs on products and services, but Zenith has managed to maintain its growth. So what would you say your key to success is? The Central Bank of Nigeria put in place a policy to say, for instance, commission on turnover have to reduce, reducing from about five, five, five per thousand to about uh, three per thousand in 2013, and hopefully by about 2016 it will become zero. No doubt this will have some impact on the revenue base of the banks, but of course what we are doing is to ensure that we continue to look to other areas where um, we can improve our revenues, um, ensuring also that uh, we set up offices in areas where we can mop up cheap, cheap deposits with which we can do business. And that's why, for instance, if you take a look at Zenit Bank's uh, third quarter result, you will find out that amongst other banks, Zenit Bank's net interest margin has continued to, 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 to move up. Zenith is known for its state-of-the-art technologies, so what's your latest innovation? When we started the bank, we said we would not open any branch of the bank without ensuring that uh, we provide good technology to support our services because we want to ensure that we provide excellent services to our customers. That we have done for 23 years. And what we continue to do is embrace any opportunity to provide uh, excellent services. I mean, what we're doing at this time is to ensure that we embrace the electronic channels. Uh, we, are, we, we are using a point of sale terminal to drive businesses for our customers. And recently, Zenit Bank was given the mobile banking license, and uh, we're also using that to ensure that we're able to reach um, uh, some of our customers that are also in some of the nooks and crannies in Nigeria. Finally, what's next for Zenith? 
we are working hard to ensure that we remain one of the global players. Uh, Zeni Bank has uh, to, to maintain the, the leading position in Africa. And uh, we are very optimistic that we will achieve this. Godwin, thank you. Thank you very much.